Now we have main constructions of our building and uh, now let's add some rooms to it. So uh, I close my windows, go to level 1. So uh, rooms, tool room placed on the architecture tab and uh, by default you need just to move your mouse over your space and Revit will analyze boundary automatically and place a room. When you finish you need just to press modify or skip and room has high, by default it's 4 meters and uh, some uh, uh, other properties it's area, perimeter, uh, high, volume and the uh, computation high, it's a uh, high where uh, Revit calculates properties of our room and the uh, number, name, finish properties and so on. So, uh, you uh, this way you need just to place say room and place it anywhere of your object you'll receive a room. Uh, sometimes re uh, if you have an uh, non-closed areas for example like this one when you uh, place a room Revit uh, will not show you a boundary. It's uh, uh, of the cause because uh, this room is not properly closed region so I modify and trim my walls now it's ok and uh, it's uh, I this room has corrected area before this was like that the same error you'll receive almost the same if you try to place two or more rooms in our one place uh, Revit will give you a uh, warning message that you have multiple rooms in the one space. But if you want to place two rooms, two Revit rooms in this space, uh, there is a tool, room separator. This is a line which defines a room boundary. For example, now I have a room here and a room here. I can move this line, so on, and uh, I can do the same thing if uh, I need to close a room, for example, like uh, like here. Note that your object room is these two lines. Uh, this label it's just a tag it's just an annotation uh, so if you try to delete your room you need to select your two lines intersect and this is your room this is just your tag so you can delete this tag and the room will uh, stays in your plan and even if you try to delete your room, you can uh, check any time what you are selected in properties. Now I select a room. If you hit delete, Revit will give you a message that room was deleted from all your views. But uh, at the same time, uh, Revit remembers this room in your properties. So uh, you can delete this room from your project now Revit remembers this room and if you want to delete from your project you need to uh, do it from the shadow of your rooms alright uh, I'll undo my uh, delete of my rooms so uh, you can modify your room properties you can select your room and uh, 
enter a name for example hall you can do something just clicking uh, on your tag first click you need to select your tag then click to name and and so on so uh, you can define different tags so tag really just shows you a property of your object this tag it's just an annotation which shows you different uh, properties of your uh, of your room of your object in Revit tag doesn't keep any properties so when you enter something in the name really you enter this uh, you modify your object through your tag so uh, just your object keeps its properties and uh, you can define different types of tags I'll show you in advanced training how you can create your own tags now we have uh, different types. I can uh, select all my tags holding up my control button or uh, pick just one tag, right click, say uh, select all instance visible in view or uh, select all, filter, check none and uh, room tags and uh, now we have different tags with array and with volume by default Revit uh, will not calculate your volume to activate it you need to go to room array uh, array and volume computations and uh, say arrays and volumes now Revit calculates a volume of our room and I can do same thing on the next stage here it is